Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the official start of a series that uh, I like to call Fat Guy Talks. Um, and obviously I talk in all my other videos too, but uh, this is um, this is a series where I, I tackle a very specific subject each video. Um, and, you know, the day that I am recording this video... Uh, it's May 16th, um, which means it's the, uh, the day before my birthday, and I turn 25 tomorrow. Whew. You know, it's, it's kind of a landmark birthday, um, I mean, that's just how I see it anyway, it's a quarter of a century, it's... You know, what do they call it? Like the silver anniversary? I, I don't even know. Um, but, <coughs> pardon me. Um, you know, 25 years, it's a pretty sizable amount of time. You know, it's, it's weird. Because uh, in a lot of ways, I'm still young. But it's, um, you know, I, I think a lot of people my age tend to say like oh I feel old when like you usually it's about like kids not knowing about you know like Johnny Bravo or something like oh I feel old because I remember when that show was on or whatever you know I remember when uh uh when the Wii came out or when you know Tony Hawk uh, Underground I don't, I don't know what those games are called anyway the point is um uh, I feel like a lot of people my age kind of say, you know, I feel old. Um, and that kind of gets met with uh, a bit of ridicule from uh, people who are older, who understandably feel like, uh, you know, we're not quite as old as we uh, as we're, we tend to feel that we are. But um, I got to say, this is like the first... Um, birthday where I really feel like, um, like kind of my age, you know, it's like once you're 18, you know, then it's like, okay, 19 is whatever, 20, you know, I'm in my 20s, then 21, it's a big deal because, hey, I can drink you know, all of that stuff, and then it's like, okay, 22, 23, 24, or whatever, um, it all feels kind of the same, but 25, to me, it's just like, I don't know, um, it's a birthday I've kind of been mentally preparing myself for, for a while, and, uh, you know, just out of nowhere the other day, I kind of had, a I wouldn't call it a midlife crisis, because I, hope I live longer than 50, but, um, it, it, I started to think, like, this is really not where I thought I'd be at 25, you know, um, when I was 18, I honestly, honestly, I thought by the time I was 25, you know, I thought I could be married, or, you know, I could, like, be on my own, uh, maybe have a house, uh, full-time career, uh, maybe some money saved away, maybe I'd have a book written and ready to publish, um, you know, seven years, they just go by in, like, the blink of an eye, and, um, and when you kind of see that all of that hasn't really come to pass, you know, it's, um, you ask yourself questions, um, you know, and I was just thinking the other day, like, there are people, you know, not only, like, around my age, but people younger than me by, you know, like, four or five years who, you know, probably already have, like, their own place to live. They're, they're probably do they're, like, they're doing the things that I thought I would be doing by now, um... You know, and uh, there's a couple of sayings that I kind of got to hold myself to, you know, constantly. It's, um, you know, life isn't a race, you know, we're, we're all 
kind of going through our own way, um, you know, just because somebody, you know, just because, like, um, someone my age, like, they have kids and a family, or they have, like, a full-time job, or they, you know, have a new car or whatever, you know, it doesn't mean that I'm, like, losing, you know, it's just, like, things are a little different for me, um, I still live at home, um, you know, I'm, I've kind of been, uh, underemployed for, for a little bit, um, and, um, I'm really not financially independent, um, and also, you know, the saying, comparison is, is the theft of joy, you know, I constantly have to tell myself that, um, and sometimes it's hard to remember, and especially times like this, you know, it's, um, It, it was kind of distressing because it was like the first time in uh, in a while that I really felt like I, I truly felt the full impact of just like all these years gone by and what could have been. And I asked, excuse me, I asked myself, you know, have I not applied myself? Um, did I do something wrong? Am I doing something wrong? Am I my own worst enemy? Um, these aren't really the questions you should be asking yourself uh, when, you know, it's a cause for celebration, really. Um, and, you know, I, I think part of it's just the way things are right now, you know. Uh, this is like the first birthday I've had in a while where... Um, where I'm not going to be celebrating it with, uh, you know, out with friends or family. It's going to be a quiet day at home. Uh, but, y you know, it's, um, it's given me a lot to reflect on. And I, I guess if there's anything I can take away from this, it's just that, uh, it it's just that, you know, you can't, you can plan for life all you want, but you know, we're going through so many sayings today. It's like the best laid plans of mice and men. Um, you know, it's life has a way of turning out much, uh, much differently than you, uh, would plan or expect or hope it to. So part of, uh, I think part of, you know, being happy is kind of learning to accept that. Um, and, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, I, I'm just kind of speaking from my own personal experience. I don't want to project on anyone. But, you know, as someone who's dealt with depression since, you know, since childhood, um, that's kind of like part of the battle, you know, is constantly having to uh, remember that. Um, so, you know, but, but I'm, I'm doing okay today. Um, you know, I am excited for my birthday. I, you know, I, I hope there never comes a time in my life where I dread my birthday because I really do enjoy Spending it with uh, friends and family, you know, for me, it's not about, like, the presents or the cake. Um, it, it's just about kind of reflecting and just saying, you know, I've been on Earth for 25 years and I have all these people in my life, you know. I have a family who supported me from the very beginning and I've made wonderful friends over the years, so... <clears throat> So that that's kind of uh it's kind of all I got for this video. Um I hope I got everything across pretty well, you know. It's just um it's a very interesting time in my life right now. Um you know, I'm uh I'm kind of in between phases of my life. And, um, you know, I'm excited for what's going to come. I hope 
it all works out. Um, and I think Fat Guy Does Things is definitely going to be a part of my life going forward. I really enjoy the um, the feedback I get. And just hearing that people enjoy the videos, that, that really means a lot to me, you know. Um, so, again, thank you for watching. Um, there will be more Fat Guy Talks um, episodes coming up. Um, you know, it's just a matter of deciding which topics I can really flesh out in a video. So, I could talk about anything in the world. But, um, you know, as far as making it a video that, um, that's presentable, that, uh, that's sometimes a different story. So, until next time, um, take care and, um, And remember that your journey is your own. No one can can take away the progress you've made. Um, and there will only ever be one of you. You know. So take care.